As the global EV market is forecasted to reach 17.5 million units with solid growth of 27% in 2024, the importance of efficient recycling practices becomes very important. According to current industry expectations, EV batteries are projected to last between 100,000 and 200,000 miles, or about 15 to 20 years. While they have a longer lifespan than traditional car batteries, they will eventually need to be recycled. In this video, we will talk about the actual electric car battery recycling process and what will be its future. The video might sound complicated at some points as we will explain the processes in detail. So, let's get started. First thing first, why do we need to recycle an electric car battery? With millions of electric vehicles hitting the roads globally, most are equipped with big lithium-ion batteries. To ensure both safety and sustainability, it's essential that these batteries undergo recycling or are disposed of in a manner that does not negatively impact the environment. Plus, recycling also helps to reclaim valuable materials that can be used to make new batteries. According to a study by the American Chemical Society, retired electric vehicle batteries have the potential to significantly contribute to the global supply of critical materials. If conditions are optimized, it is estimated that these batteries could provide up to 60% of the world's cobalt, 53% of its lithium, 57% of manganese, and 53% of nickel by the year 2040. These figures underline the importance of developing effective recycling processes. However, there are some big challenges that need addressing. Currently, recycling EV batteries poses economic and logistical hurdles, making it neither a simple nor an inexpensive task. But still, electric car battery recycling has been occurring for quite some time now. So, what's the process? Currently, there are three different methods of recycling electric car batteries. One, hydrometallurgical recycling. Two, direct recycling. Three, pyrometallurgical recycling. Hydrometallurgical recycling stands out as an effective way to repurpose valuable elements, particularly suitable for batteries that contain nickel and cobalt. This method is known for its high recovery rates, typically yielding 90 to 99% of the nickel, cobalt, and lithium content. Additionally, it has a low environmental impact, making it an eco-friendlier choice for handling end-of-life batteries. Here's how this method works. Hydrometallurgical recycling utilizes liquid solutions to extract minerals from a substance known as black mass. It is actually a powder laden with valuable metals reclaimed during preliminary processing. This black mass comprises binders, essentially adhesives that anchor the cathode and anode, the positive and negative electrodes, to their respective aluminum and copper current collectors. The separation process of electrodes from the foil can be done by using chemical or thermal pretreatments. Chemical methods dissolve the binding glue using an acid, which must be followed by thermal treatment to completely eradicate any residual substances. Alternatively, thermal pretreatment can effectively remove the positive electrode by heating it to a point where the glue decomposes. However, this process generates gases and demands additional purification equipment like scrubbers to ensure environmental safety. In direct recycling, the focus is placed on preserving the material's high functionality by avoiding their destruction. Direct recycling is characterized by high recovery rates. Around 90% of nickel and cobalt and roughly 50% of lithium can be salvaged. It also boasts the lowest environmental impact among recycling methods. Because of these factors, it yields the highest quality product, crucial for maintaining the integrity of recycled materials. This approach is ideal for lower value batteries, such as those made of lithium iron phosphate, including manufacturing scrap and batteries that have not been used or have aged beyond their prime operating conditions. Direct recycling emphasizes saving and refurbishing materials without breaking them down. The process starts with shredding the batteries to get a black mass, similar to hydrometallurgical recycling. But instead of destroying the electrodes, direct recycling purifies them to be reused. During separation, the natural traits of the materials are harnessed where graphite floats to the top in a froth flotation process and other minerals sink. Direct recycling creates a rejuvenated positive electrode ready for manufacturing a new battery. This process is still in development but shows promise, especially for batteries without high-value minerals like cobalt and nickel. For example, lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries benefit from direct recycling. They recover the positive electrode, which is more valuable than individual minerals. 
Pyrometallurgical recycling is the least favorable method in terms of material recovery. Pyrometallurgical recycling, also known as smelting, falls short because it fails to recover several critical materials such as lithium, aluminum, or manganese. This significantly limits its usefulness because these are essential components for new battery production. This method also results in the highest environmental impact among the recycling techniques, contrasting the eco-conscious objectives that drive the electric vehicle industry. To compound the issue, even after the smelting process, the output requires an additional phase of refinement through hydrometallurgical processes to purify the materials, making them suitable for use in battery manufacturing. Now let's be honest, electric car battery recycling is not an easy venture. The actual process is very complex, which is why only a few companies dare to tackle it. Many of the car companies making electric vehicles like Ford and Toyota are teaming up with battery recycling experts instead of starting from scratch. After all, why would you invent the wheel when someone else has already done it? You just need to figure out how to design a car to use wheels. One such expert is Redwood Materials. They've joined forces with big names like Volkswagen, Audi, and Volvo too. The plan is to take old car batteries and recycle them, which helps make electric cars better for the planet and easier on the wallet. This is just one example of how collaboration and innovation are driving the electric vehicle industry towards a greener, more sustainable future. A few other examples include names like General Motors, LG Chem, and Hyundai. They have formed Ultium Cells LLC to specialize in producing batteries for electric vehicles. Ultium Cells, LLC has teamed up with Lycycle, a Canadian recycling company, to process waste materials from their Lordstown facility in Detroit to ensure environmentally responsible production. Similarly, American Honda Motor Company is collaborating with battery resources to recycle their used lithium-ion batteries from electric vehicles. Hyundai is also playing its part by partnering with UL Solutions. Together, they're working on converting old EV batteries into to energy storage systems designed to get a second life. Besides these, there are companies that have taken the responsibility to go through the extensive EV battery recycling process. One such enterprise is Ford, which has partnered with Redwood Materials for battery recycling. Despite this, the automaker plans to eventually recycle batteries at its innovative Blue Oval City complex. Meanwhile, Mercedes-Benz has announced its initiative to construct its own battery recycling plant in Kuppenheim, Germany. Tesla, on the other hand, takes a self-reliant approach, recycling batteries in-house and boasting the capability to reclaim 92% of a battery's raw materials. So, what is the future of electric vehicle EV battery recycling? The landscape appears promising and well-equipped for the near future. Including the recycling plants announced as of now, there will be enough capacity to handle end-of-life batteries until 2044. Analysts at Benchmark assert that production scrap will be the predominant source for recyclers until 2030. However, as time progresses, the volume of end-of-life batteries will overshadow the amount of production scrap, becoming the main source of raw materials. Uncertainties in the supply chain indicate a potential surge in global recycling activities. While many governments are only beginning to navigate these complex issues, regions such as California, China, and the European Union have stepped ahead by proposing policies for responsible end-of-life EV battery management. For example, California's Advanced Clean Car 2 regulations, ACC2, demand that manufacturers place permanent labels on batteries revealing essential chemistry details and other information. This transparency benefits manufacturers and opens the way for third-party recyclers to engage in the recycling process, potentially sparking further innovation. Similarly, the European Union's new battery regulation is set to stimulate recycling efforts mandating that by 2031, all newly produced batteries contain a specific percentage of recycled materials. In China, the life cycle of every EV battery, whether produced locally or imported, is documented in a database to guarantee its collection and recycling at the end of its service life. Let me know in the comments section below if you think the current EV battery recycling efforts are sufficient or if there is still more that can be done to ensure a sustainable future for electric vehicles and their batteries. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Goodbye.